Dr. Linda Mental is with us on this Everyday Answers bonus. We asked her to stick around and answer one more question for us. On the program, we talked about ways people are dealing with stress. So here's one more question okay. to discuss. This one says, I like to talk it out, which is mm -hmm. a good thing, right? Unfortunately, the only people I can talk to require payment for services such as advisors and therapists. <laughs> what can I do when I can't talk it out with anyone? Well, that's a hard question for me to ask you because no, it's fine. You're, you're doing what you're doing to help people and right. yet there are many people that, that need that and just a good friend, right? Yeah, and we'd like to prevent people from having to come to see me, so I'm good. <laughs> if I go out of business, it would be a good thing. So here's <laughs> the thing with that. I'm going to guess that that was written by a woman because women feel better when they talk things through and they do it in a lot of detail and there are differences between men and women so I want to point out so when I was doing my residency at a VA hospital it was a very intense situation and I was in a locked homicidal suicidal psychotic ward so you can imagine it would be very intense yeah. the patients I was working with so I would come home at night and I was like I have to talk to somebody about this I was married and so I would be like I have to talk about what happened you'll never believe in and this is cathartic for women Women like to talk in detail, right. not so much for the men. So the men get a little overwhelmed. Their brains are different. We have different connections in terms of the way our brains are connected, male, female. So the female brain gets a little bit deeper into the emotion. So for men, a lot of times that talking out overwhelms them. Hmm. So we came up with a rule. My husband was like, I want to support you. I want to be able to talk it through. I want to help you de-stress. But I get overwhelmed at the amount of information and how long this is going on. So we decided 10 minutes. We would kind of de-stress our, I get to talk, he get to listen, <laughs> and not have to that's solve good. the problem. Yeah. Because men always feel like they want to solve right. the problem because that's how their brains work. It's a little different. And so we would do it for 10 minutes and then we'd move on to something else. So what I would say to her is find somebody that you can do that with, whether it's a female friend, somebody you can go to coffee with. Mm -hmm. This is why churches are wonderful. We need to build community right. where we have all kinds of people we can talk things out with. This is why ch church Sunday school classes are great. If they're small, you can go in. This is what people need. They need connections. Our brains are made to connect with another person. We are built interpersonally, mm -hmm. and we have to have that interpersonal connection or we start to get lonely and isolated. And right. honestly, when we're isolated, Ginger, that's when the enemy whispers in our ear it's a lot of times yeah. and gets us to be discouraged and it, to be down. It also means that we may have to step out a little bit. Yes to make those connections with people. Yes, and um, sometimes that's hard. Yeah. And you sometimes think it's a lot of work to make a friend. And it is a little bit of work, but you keep trying and find somebody, again, just to go to coffee once in a while right. and sit down and say, hey, and then don't become a burden to somebody by, you know, oh, here's my friend who always wants to talk to me about her problems. Because sometimes people worry about that. Yeah. Instead, I like your guidelines that you set up. You can do that in any relationship, right? You can, as long as it's tit for tat. Right. So again, be, be conscious, be mindful of the fact that if you have a friend that you're telling your problems to, that that person also has time to do that with you right. so that it's a, you know, it's a give and get kind of relationship. Yeah. Well, thank you. So talking it out is a good thing, and we'll be praying that you find that friend that you need to do that with. If you have a question, don't forget to ask us. We'll do what we can to answer it. On Twitter, use hashtag EA just to let us know that you're talking about everyday answers. And if you use hashtag Ask Joyce, then you might see it right here on the program. Also on the Joyce Meyer Ministries Facebook page. Thank you so much for checking this out, and we'll see you next time with more Everyday Answer bonuses.